Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my July favorites. Um, these are kind of just my summer favorites, though, because I haven't just been using them in July, but they've been my favorite throughout July. So anyways, my first favorite, I'm going to start off with my makeup products, is this Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. I love this foundation. I got this foundation back in May for prom, and I went to Ulta and I didn't really know what I was looking for but I knew I wanted something that was medium to full coverage and very natural finish because I didn't want luminous for pictures because I didn't want to look oily and I have dry skin so matte wouldn't really work and she gave me this foundation and at first I was like matte finish like that's not gonna work but then she tested it on me and it just looked so flawless it looked airbrushed it's not the foundation I'm wearing right now I'm wearing the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect foundation right now but this is the foundation I wore in my first video, and it is just so nice. But I haven't really been able to wear it until, like, July, because for prom I was self-tanned, but my self-tan wore off, and I'm naturally pretty pasty, so I couldn't wear this until I got tan again without having, like, a major line and having to put foundation, like, all the way down my chest. But, um, so yeah, I've really been loving this foundation this month, and the, probably the best thing about it is that it's high-end, and it's only $30. Like, that might seem like a lot to some people, but some high-end foundations, actually most high-end foundations, are in the 40s, sometimes even 50s, and if it's real expensive, even 60s or more. And I definitely think that this is worth every single penny. My next two favorites I'm not going to talk too much about because I talked about them in my first video, so that's why I'm just going to do them together. They are the... Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and the It Cosmetics No Tug Gel Waterproof Eyeliner. Now you guys are probably like, oh my god, shut up about these products because I literally talked about them in, I think, both of my videos so far. But starting with the eyeliner, this is just the perfect eyeliner. It's super creamy, super black, and it stays for such a long time, and it it's not like a pencil pencil because it, like, it's a wind-up. You don't have to sharpen it, and when it says no tug, it means no tug. It's not one of those pencils that's, like, scratchy, so... This is really nice, and it, I definitely think it's worth every penny. It is $22, which is very expensive for eyeliner, but it also seems to last a really long time. Like, I feel like I'm not getting low on product, and I use this legitimately every single day. The Benefit Roller Lash Mascara is just my favorite mascara ever. I talked about my first video about how my friend Vanessa recommended it to me, and at first I was just like, oh, okay, so I'll just get the travel size, which is why I have the travel size. And... I just love it. It has the perfect shaped wand, and I don't know if you can see, but the bristles are kind of shorter on this side and longer on this side, on the curved side, and I don't really know, like, what that does, but my eyelashes just get so long and so voluminous, but without being clumpy. Like, it is ridiculous. I wore this um, for my senior pictures yesterday, my photographer was like, oh my gosh, like, look at her eyelashes. Like, she could not believe my eyelashes, and it was because of this mascara. But, just like the eyeliner, this is a high-end product, so it is not cheap. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like to spend a lot of money on things like mascara and eyeliner, I would not get this, but if you don't mind spending a little bit extra money on mascara, this one is definitely one I think you should check out. Alright, my next couple products are from the drugstore. So if you guys are not into spending a lot of money on makeup, then these are probably the products that you'll be more interested in. This first one is going to seem kind of weird. It is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. Mine is messed up. <laughs> it normally looks like lipstick, but I use mine a lot, and I kind of, I don't know, I did something to it, so it looks like this now. But, um... I just put this on my lips before I put on a liquid lipstick or pretty much any lipstick and it exfoliates and hydrates your lips so well and it just gets off all the dead skin and your lipstick, especially liquid lipstick, just goes on so smooth. It kind of gets rid of the cracks in your lips. Like obviously you're still going to have the little lines. Like, I have really dry lips so sometimes like the little flakes, this sounds so disgusting, but the little flakes on your lips, this just gets rid of them and it makes it look so much more smooth on your lips when you put on a lipstick. And it's only a couple dollars. The only thing I don't like about this, though, is the scent. I have no idea what the scent of this one is. I know that this is, like, the original one. It's the only one they had at Target when I went there. So when this one runs out and I repurchase, I'm probably going to purchase uh, the mint one. I'm pretty sure they have mint and cherry, but I don't even know what this one is, to be honest. And I can't, like, I know what it is, but I can't figure it out. So I don't know, but some people might like this scent. I personally don't, but... They do have other scents and flavors. Alright, my next favorite is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I used this concealer for a really long time, like a year or two ago, 
and then I started getting into more different concealers because I wanted to test things out. So I was I've, I haven't had a set concealer for a long time, but now if I'm doing my makeup really quick or whatever, this is always the one I grab for. It's just, it's really thin, if that makes sense, like when you put it on, like it's not a super thick consistency, but it has such good coverage and it's just perfect for summer. I find that it lasts really, really long if I go swimming or just in the heat when you sweat. Like I find that it just lasts a really long time. I don't have a single bad thing to say about it, so if you're looking for a cheap concealer that is really good, I would definitely get this one. Okay, so my next product that I want to show you is the ColourPop Brow Pencil, and I have mine in the shade Dope Taupe. I really love this brow pencil. I used to be into the Anastasia one, but it's $20, so, and I go through these so fast because I do my brows every single day. And this is a tiny little pencil. It doesn't have a ton of product in it, but um, the Anastasia one just got so expensive to keep repurchasing, and I just didn't think it was worth it. I know a lot of people really love that product, but... Um, so I looked for dupes for a really long time, and I tried a NYX one, I tried a Maybelline one, I tried a lot of different kinds, and I saw a lot of people using the new ColourPop one, so I decided I'd try it out because it's only like 5 or $6, I'm pretty sure it's $5, but anyways, it has a great formula, I really love um, like the packaging, like how it has the spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other end. It's set up just like the Anastasia one. The formula is great, the color is great, it's not too warm, not too ashy, it's just perfect for my brows just the way I like it. And best thing is it's only five dollars. So if you guys are looking for a cheap brow pencil but you really like the Anastasia one, this is definitely something I think you should check out. Alright, my next product is very cliche favorite. It is the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit. I have mine in the shade Exposed. I really like this liquid lipstick. The only thing I don't like about it is that, that I find that it really accentuates the lines on your lips. But if I use my N er, e.l.f. lip exfoliator beforehand, this goes on so beautifully and I'm just obsessed with the color. For this, it's more the color than the actual product. It is the perfect like brown toned nudes. If you are looking for a brown toned nude lipstick, this is definitely something I think that you should try out. I think this is just a very beautiful color. But out of the Kylie Jenner lip kit, I have to say, I like the lip liner even more than I like the liquid lipstick. I don't know if you can buy these separately, but I think you can. And if you can, I want to get like every single color because I love this. It is just so, so creamy. I've used mine a lot. The only thing I don't like about it is that I wish it was like a twist up one. I hate having to sharpen it because I feel like, I don't know. But I love this so much. It's just so creamy and pigmented. It's just a really great lip liner. My next favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Gleam. Now, when I first got this, I wasn't sure about it. I thought I didn't like it because my favorite highlight ever is Champagne Pop by Becca. And the Becca highlighters and these highlighters have such a different consistency. The Becca ones are definitely just way more buttery than these, but and these aren't chalky. I just I can't explain the formula of these. But so I was a little unsure at first, but I've been using them a lot and the more I use them, the more I like them. I find that the colors in this glow kit are the most wearable for my skin tone. I think the other ones are better for or the other one, it's like, I, I want to say it's called Sun Dipped, but it might be Sun Kissed. I'm not sure. But whatever one that is, I think that one's a little bit better for darker skin tones. So if you have a skin tone similar to mine, I definitely think that you would like this glow kit if you're looking for highlighters. And um, this glow kit is $40, which might seem pricey, but you get these huge pans of highlight, which I can guarantee you will never run out of. It comes out to only $10 a pan, so I definitely think it's worth it. Okay, so that's all for my makeup favorites, but my next favorites are brushes. So these two brushes are my all-time favorite Morphe brushes. I just recently made my first Morphe brush order. And I got them, and I was so excited because I wanted to get them for a long time. I don't know why I didn't. I just always felt like I wanted to get actual makeup products and not brushes. But recently, I've been really into brushes. So, I went on the Morphe website, and they have a bunch of YouTubers' favorite Morphe brushes there, where you can just go, and it just has them all listed. So I went to Jaclyn Hills, of course. <laughs> and I got, I think, three or four brushes, but these two have been my favorites. This this one is the Morphe M441 and this one is the M501. This brush is just the perfect blending brush. If you are looking for the perfect blending brush, I would definitely get this brush. I also got the Morphe M433, which is very similar to this. It's just a little bit flatter, kind of, like this way. Um, 
That one's really good too, but this one is just the perfect crease brush. I have other fluffy brushes, but this one is just so much more precise. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I really love this brush. This is just the perfect fluffy crease brush. And then the M501 is meant to be an eye brush, but I use it as a face brush. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be an eye brush. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be just like a really majorly fluffy blending brush. But anyways, I love using this for highlight. I just find that it puts the product on my face so well, but and it doesn't make it look like a harsh line, but it also doesn't get like highlight all over my face. Like, I don't know. It, <laughs> I haven't have found a really good highlight brush that I've liked so far. I've been trying out a bunch of different kinds of brushes, but so far this is my favorite, and I have not used a different brush to highlight my face since I got this one. Okay, <laughs> so my next favorite is kind of weird. Um, I have really been loving coconut oil lately. That probably seems so weird, but anyways, I used to have eyelash extensions. I had them for a couple months, and I grew them out because they were just getting really expensive to keep up with, and I was finding that I didn't like them as much as I originally did when I first got them on. But my friend Vanessa, who I keep talking about, <laughs> she gives me a lot of good beauty tips. But her uh, dermatologist, they were talking about my eyelash extensions, and she said to that once I grow them out, I should put coconut oil on my eyelashes because it'll make them stronger. So I grew my eyelashes out, and... I've been using this ever since, and my eyelashes are, I feel like they're even better than when I first got my extensions put on. The extensions definitely do make some of your eyelashes fall out, because they, f when the extension comes off, your eyelash normally comes off with it. So I lost a lot of eyelashes, and my eyelashes were really weak because of the glue, but I put coconut oil on them for a good month and they were completely back to normal. And I've still been putting it on them and I feel like they are just stronger than ever. So if you ever got eyelash extensions or if you're ever planning to and then you get them off, I would definitely get some coconut oil for when you get them off because it has just completely fixed my eyelashes. Okay, and my last product is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Brightening Shampoo. So, if you haven't noticed, I dyed my hair blonde. When I first got it dyed, it was kind of yellow at the root. Well, not the roots, but you know, the top. I was using a purple shampoo before, I don't know what kind it was, but I really just felt like it did nothing. Like, my hair used to be just ombre, and I used purple shampoo because I didn't want it to turn, get to get brassy or anything. So, my purple shampoo, I just felt like it was not working, so I wanted to find something different, and I looked up a bunch of reviews online, but everything seemed to have mixed reviews. So finally, I just went to CVS, and I bought the first thing I saw, and it was this. And I was very skeptical, because this isn't even purple, it's like white. But after one wash, I could see the difference, and I've been using this for a good week now, and my the yellow's gone. Like, it's completely gone. This just brightens your hair so much. It has done so much for my hair. I am absolutely in love with the color of my hair now, and I'm just really excited because I feel like it's going to stay this color because of this shampoo. But that is all for my July favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any product that any products that you really liked this month, comment below because I'm looking for some new products to try out. So if you have something you think I should try, let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you are interested in following me on any social media, I will have it all listed right here as in the down bar below. And I will also have all of the products that I mentioned in this video in the down bar below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!